Aries 2020, we have implemented now the brand new Subdiv modeling tools. With this tool set, you can do concept modeling using Subdiv controls. The new technology provides not only a concept modeling workflow, as we are also able to combine all NURBS modeling tools with the Subdivs as well, which will lift the concept modeling workflow to a completely new level. In this example, you will see how to model using Subdivs and combine them using NURBS tools. See here the selection options, which are in the pick area of the palette. Pick face loop, pick face and pick edge. You can also create an edge loop selection from out of one edge by clicking on Subdiv loop from edge or selecting an edge loop directly by selecting Subdiv edge loop as well as selecting the complete Subdiv object. For creating and working with Subdivs, go to the Subdiv creation tools under Subdivision. Here I'm starting to remodel a wing using a one degree curve as a base. You can now use the Extrude tool under Subdivision Extrude to create the first shapes. You can also switch from the standard view where you can see the subdivs and the subdiv control cage to box mode within the diagnostic shade. With Crease Edge you can apply hard edges onto the object. If you don't want a crease edge anymore you can uncrease them again. For refining, you can display and pick the CVs and transform them like you are used to within the NURBS workflows. Even the CV move tool is working with the subdivs. So you can do all CV operations on a subdiv control cage as well. Other implemented tools are bridge for bridging between different edges. Fill hole to fill a hole and close an object. Insert edge loop to create additional edges or edge loops from out of an existing edge or edge loops. These can be transformed using the CV Move tool. The Multicut tool can be used to freely create edges and cut the subdivs. The Weld tool welds CVs together with different options like to target, to midpoint or to tolerance. The Align to Curve tool creates a NURBS curve based on a subdiv CV selection. Now you can control a row of CVs using the aligned curve instead of moving the single CVs manually, which will add additional surface quality to your model. Additionally, you can work with our NURBS tools on the subdivs as well. For example, intersect a subdiv object with a NURBS object and use the trim tool like you are used to. You can also create a fillet onto an edge of a subdiv and NURBS object, like you see in this example or project a NURBS curve onto a subdiv, create a curve and surface and trim it. Or create a NURBS draft on an edge of subdiv. The subdiv implementation will speed up your concept modeling and ID creation workflow massively, as you can now work with a hybrid NURBS and subdiv modeling environment while keeping the history. Thanks for watching the video.